I want to talk to you today about the hardest thing I do. I don't believe I do it well. I'm definitely not the model. Uh, so please don't uh, think I'm setting myself up as that. But it's something I'm committed to becoming great at. So one day I will be great at it. But even in the little bit of, uh, of um, I would say I force gump my way through this part of my life, I'm already seeing good fruit as a result of it. And uh, it's simply this, in a nutshell, Psalm 46, verse 10. Be still and know I'm God. Selah. Think about that. This is God speaking. He says, this is what I want you to do. Okay? For those of you who are productive people who get lots done in a day. For those of you who have got to-do lists that are longer than your arm. And uh, people pulling on you left, right, and center. The hardest thing in the world for you to do is... Shut it all out. Turn off your phone. Be still. Quiet yourself down. And know that God's got this. And that you're going to be just fine if you stay close to the God who's got this. But it takes time to be close to God. It takes devotion. It takes quiet places to come into that place of intimacy with the Lord. But that's what God wants. And when we quiet ourselves down and fix our eyes on Jesus, not with any agenda, not here's my prayer list, not here I'm going to contend for this, not here's my 50 declarations, but be still. I'm here in the room with you. You're here in the room with me. I love you. You love me. Now just be quiet. Know that I'm God. Wait and see what I drop into your spirit. That is the hardest thing in the world to do. But I'll tell you something. Those who do it, hear God's voice. Those who do it, get God's grace to accomplish everything they need to accomplish on their to-do list. Everything that they need to they need to grow and expand their business. Everything that they need to plan their next gathering. By the way, I'm thinking of myself there. <laughs> that was me, me, me. I got a long to-do list. I've got a business I'm trying to grow and expand. I've got gatherings that I'm planning. I've got ministries. To, I've got stuff to do, okay? Who has time to just sit in a room with music on and try to quiet yourself down and think about Jesus and blow him kisses and receive his love and wait and see if maybe he'll say something? Who has time for that? Well, I do. Well, at least I have to if I want to be what God's called me to be. And each of us, we have to decide, will we make time for intimacy? You know, marriage is not just about um, going to work and getting things done. A marriage is about time together. It's about loving and being loved. It's about quiet times. It's about intimacy. It's about just going on a date and enjoying a meal with no agenda other than the agenda of let's be together. That is how we come to intimacy. And Jesus, just so you know, He's not looking for workers. He's looking for a bride. He's looking for uh, a people who want to have that with him. And so here's your homework for today. Find a quiet place. Turn off your phone. Put on some uh, gentle, um, maybe an instrumental type worship uh, album. Something that doesn't, no words. Nothing that's going to pull you in any direction. Make a decision that you're going with no agenda other than to love him, be loved by him. Just be aware of his presence. Recognize that he's with you. And if he speaks to you, great, write it down. If he gives you an idea of something to do, great. Listen and obey. That's often when God speaks to us, is when we go to him with no agenda other than to be with him, to love him, to be loved by him, 
to hear his voice and obey. Hallelujah. Be still and know I'm God. The hardest, easiest thing in the world to do. Do it today.